So good evening, everyone, and welcome to the show. Ask me now. Now this is a place. Good evening, where... Yes. Sir. This is the platform where you can ask your doubts, your queries, your questions regarding Vedic mathematics. And I am Dr. Yogesh Chanda, author and certified trainer of Vedic mathematics. And my mission is to remove fear of mathematics from every child. Right. So yes, uh, Xiaomi, what's your name? Am I audible to you? Coco M2? See, this is your platform. You have to ask me questions. Until unless there is a question, how can I answer? Yes, Poco. Okay, Ram Krishna. Yes. Kalau sudah lihat sudah ya boleh ya. Do you want Poco? You're not interested. Kali ini ay industri mana lah? Yes, Ram Krishna Dahel. How are you? I'm good, sir. I'm good. And you? Okay, that's fine. Yes, tell me. So, do you have any questions today? No, any sir. Queries? No, yes, no Bhattraj. So he was much well in time before the time. I would rather say, Anisha, welcome. Yes. Thank yes, you, sir. Good evening. Good evening. So, any questions you have, Anisha? So you should start with the question round so that everybody can help you in that. Yes, Bhaktaraj. Bhaktaraj, you are from which place? Yes, Rajesh. Okay, Rajesh is from West Bengal. So no questions at all? Huh? Okay, so let me start. Let me tell you what all is Vedic mathematics and how we will move further. Now, we, what is the problem today? The biggest problem we are facing is children have fear of mathematics, right? So this is a common problem. They have a fear of math. The common problem with everyone, every child of every city, every country, every village. So like what I have observed, yes, it's not only India, Nepal, it's every country. I had seen students of Bhutan, New Zealand, Australia, every, the big, biggest problem is fear of mathematics. Now this problem can be resolved. Why? How? When we'll start calculations by our brain, when we'll not be focused or depend on man-made machines like calculators for the calculation or mobiles for the calculation, when we are not dependent on that and we are focusing or we are working with the help of our brains. We are trying to solve every small or big calculation with the help of brains, then this fear of mathematics can be removed. So for that purpose, doing the calculations mentally, there is a magical thing, what we call it as Vedic mathematics. Now, Vedic mathematics is, you can say, what makes your mathematics easy, simple, and faster. Correct. So Vedic maths is what makes your maths easy, simple, and faster. Correct. Yes, uh, some new people have joined. OK. So if any one of you have any query, you can talk in between. You can ask me. You can raise a hand or you can ask me the question. Right. 
Yes, Anisha. So you had a word with us, so many people today. So what are the basic query, or what do you think people are looking forward for? Sir, is Vedic mathematics is helpful in every like every sector of mathematics? Yes, I'll tell you. See, Vedic maths. Now, the first thing we'll be doing with Vedic maths is arithmetic. Because math starts from your arithmetic until and unless you are clear with that. What is arithmetic? All the four operations addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So these are the four basic. Without this, no calculation is possible. After that, you start with caring, cares. Cubes. Some people are not able to join. They are still in the waiting room. Why is it so? Here, cubes. And thereafter, we go for square roots. Cube roots. After that, we also have applications like percentage, fractions, right? And more important, once arithmetic is over, you start with algebra, where most of the students have again So we can do arithmetic. The first and the foremost thing, algebra can be done. After that, whatever or wherever we find mathematical calculation, let it be in trigonometry, geometry, calculus. So we have uh, people from yes, Leonard Messi, Porel Brown, Willard. Okay, I'm not here. Yes, do you have any questions? I'm getting answer. Yes, Mr. Brown. Do you have any questions regarding Vedic mathematics? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mute yourself so that I can. I shall not go yet to the crazy nobody. Mr. Brown, thank you. Okay. I think there are some people who are not interested in learning and they are just here for. Yes, so I have removed them. Right. Okay. Yes, anyone who is still not interested in learning? You can okay. still five persons are very thing, yes. Oh. Oh my God. I think some people. Uh,
I'm removing all those who joined later. Yes, Anisha Bhaktaraj Kirtiman Sahu. Yes, Kirtiman Sahu, you are from? Am I audible to you? I have removed. Okay. Uh, I think there were some nuisance people. Yes, uh, it happens like this sometimes. Not to worry. Okay, so we'll continue. Now, so yes, uh, your answer was, yes, we can do algebra, trigonometry, geometry, calculus, and even organic chemistry. So most of the things, wherever you find mathematical calculations that can be resolved, that can be solved with Vedic mathematics, right? Yes, Kirtiman Sahu, am I audible? Okay. Uh, yes, uh, Dhritra. Okay. See, the, uh, please uh, don't write any direct messages. Let it be everyone. Yes, Rameshwar. Do you have any issues? Hello. Yes. Ching Chong. Okay. Oh my God. Right. So we'll continue. Yes, Bhaktaraj. So we have only people. We'll see if some name is suspicious, I will not allow. Yes, so everybody has been removed. Everybody who was suspicious, we have removed them. Right. So Anisha, you're, you're clear about the answer. Is your doubt clear now? Yes, sir. Right. So, this Sir, I have helps. another question. Yes, please ask. Uh, how helpful it is uh, for higher level mathematics, sir? Now, like uh, while well doing derivatives and antiderivatives. Yes. See, the first thing is derivatives and antiderivatives. Then we talk about how. When do we start those? When will we start there? Until we have not covered the basic. See, like. First day of the class, mathematics starts in class one. And when do we have derivatives? When do we have? So we have to uh, study those topics on, on plus two level. Plus two level. Correct. Trigonometry starts with your ninth, tenth, eighth, right? Geometry also yes, starts sir. with seventh, eighth, and ninth. Now the point is you have to go step by step. Now, why? When we talk about Vedic mathematics, we are focusing majorly on mathematics and algebra. Why? Because we are not looking for students only for school level. No. This is one concern. But the major concern is their mathematics base or the foundation is weak. What do you mean by that? In actual, they have fear of maths in them. In actual, they are not able to do even simple calculations. The basic calculations, the initial calculations. So that means right from the beginning, when they started with addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, scaring, cubing, or multiplication tables, they have a doubt in that. Right, and that is the biggest problem. Whenever we talk about mathematics, 
we have to think right from the bottom, right from the first step. Yes, the Rakesh Anand, you are from Deepa. Am I audible, Deepa? Prakash Raj? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. I'm listening to you. Okay. Prakash, you are from which place? I am from uh, Nepal, sir. Nepal. Chitwan district. Chitwan district. Okay. So today we have sir, some cyber attack just now. Few people were making news, and so that's why I'm asking your names. Rakesh Anand, you are from? Yes, Rakesh Anand. Are you there? If you could politely mute the fuck up, because you're re being really fucking annoying right now. Okay. So that was what I was. Yes, Deepa. Yes, sir. Okay, you are from? I'm from uh, Dubai, sir. Sorry? Dubai. Okay, sorry. <laughs> It's got it, got it, got it. So, yeah, you, saw, yeah, so. you saw today there was some cyber attack and people were, some nuisance people were there in the show. I have removed everyone. Okay. Now I will not okay. add more today. They are still seven hours in waiting, but I will not add now. Okay, let's continue. Yes, so second question was, so it's not only meant for school level because definitely school is one thing. But apart from that, competition, Right, which start right from class one today. If you want your student to be admitted to any good school, you need, they need to give a, an, a test and the tests always have mathematics. So it's not your school mathematics only because school mathematics teaches you everything of the subject, but fails to teach time management. And that is, always required because a competition or a scholarship or any entrance exam it is race against time we always have to focus on time that is the most important thing right and that is why the focus is always on arithmetics and algebra because these are these two components are having the maximum weightage in any exam. Most of the exam is filled with your arithmetic. Yes, if it is for higher end classes, LCM, HCF for sixth class, LCM, HCF, it is eighth class, square roots, cube roots. Now cube roots, if you have seen, even an eighth class student will take time to find the cube roots because they have to find factors, but here, Finding that is just as simple as A, B, C. You just have to observe the number and finish. Whatever deficiencies you can say we had in our conventional mathematics. I'll give you one example, very simple example today. See, let's say, let's take any three numbers. Let's say three, eight, seven. And I have to multiply this three, eight, seven with six, Four, eight. Let's say this. So, what is the procedure? I'll multiply this. Eight sevens are fifty-six. Six, five. Eight eight sixty-four plus. I'll add five. So, sixty-nine. And six would be carryover. Eight three is a twenty-four plus six, thirty. Done. Now, when we'll be going for the second round, four sevens are 28. Again, a carryover. So I'll cross this. And so this is where students get confused. Carryovers. It, you can say it has multiple carryovers. So four sevens are 28. And two goes to four. It's a 32. And two. Four. Again, three is new carryover. Four threes are 12. And three, 15. This is how you do. Yes, Deepa, Prakash, this is how we do? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Now, then we'll go for the third step. Six sevens are 42. 
again four the third now see the same place you are getting so many carry overs so six seven forty two two here four new carry over six eight of forty eight plus four fifty two and five is my new carry over so see I am taking so much care of these carry overs still I am getting confused or think about the kids. Six three is eighteen plus five, so that is twenty. And then we will add. That means three times you are making multiplication and then carry over six, seven, seven. Again, here also you are getting basically carry overs. Here you are getting carry overs. Here you are getting carry overs. So. Now I'll tell you easy way in solving Vedic mathematics. We'll start from two-digit numbers. Let this be thirty-eight, sixty-four only. Then I'll add the third also. First, I'll explain you this. Now in Vedic math, this particular method is called as Urdhva. Trivang Sutra. What does that means? Urdhva means vertical. Trivang means cross multiplication. So at first step, you will okay. We'll proceed from left hand side and move towards the right hand side. So what we will do at step one, we will multiply left left numbers. So now left left numbers are three and six. Correct. So three into six is eighteen. I'll write eighteen and put a balancing line. This balancing line is just to avoid your mistakes, so that you never get confused at all. Now, second step is cross multiplication because. First, you see one one number, then you observe all four numbers. Now we will multiply cross three into four plus six into eight. So forty eight plus twelve that gives me sixty. Now moving further, only three, only these numbers are left eight and four. So eight into four is thirty two. Clear. Now see the calculations. Now this balancing line. If you have done, if you have learned this earlier, also I explained. This is just to so that you can maintain one one digit at every position value. So two as it is, three goes here, and eighteen plus six, it is twenty four. Yes, Rama Krishna. Ram Krishna, are you there? Ram Krishna, are you from yes, Tripun sir. University only now? Yes, yes, sir. Actually, today there was some attacks, cyber attacks, so I I had to remove so many people, and I think you also got removed. Okay, so no problem. Huh? Nah, there was some cyber attacks. So many nuisance people were there. Now we are going continuing. Okay, no issues. So. This is how you multiply two numbers. But now let's observe what will happen if three numbers are taken. Not an issue. I'll share. It is three, eight, seven. It was five, four, eight. See how the answer can be done in single line. So again, we come from left to left side. First step, three into five. So three into five is fifteen. Second step, three into four and five into eight. So three into four is twelve. Five into a four uh, eight is forty. So twelve plus forty. Fifteen. 
52. Coming to the third. Now, 3 and 8, 24. 5 and 7, 35. So, 35, 24, they add up. And the last in between them is 8 into 4. That is again 32. So, 1, 91. This is 91. Now, this, after this is done, that means you have taken all the numbers. All the numbers have been taken into consideration. So what will happen? You are moving towards the left. That means you will now not take these numbers. Only these two will left. Since we started with one one digit. Then we brought it to two two digits. Then three three digits. Now, again, from left, you are moving towards the right. and that's why you have avoid, avoided three, three digits coming to this. Eight into eight is 64 plus 28. What is that? Again, 92. And the last, when you talk about the last one, when you, only one is left, 56. Simple one line answer. There are no multiple carry overs on the same head. Six we take as it is. Five is moved further. 92 plus five, it becomes seven. Seven taken. Nine here means 100. That means zero here. Ten further. That is 62. So two. Six goes further. It is two, one. Is it clear now? Yes, Anisha. Is it clear? Yes, sir. It's all clear. Got it. So how easily it can be? Okay, it was 648. Sorry. So that's why answer was not matching. I thought what happened. So 548. Sorry, that was 648. So no issues. But see, here it was getting confused. And this is where students make silly mistakes. See, what are the silly mistakes in mathematics? This is one of the silly mistakes. Second thing, what you learn from Vedic Maths is how to do it mentally. Now, you say, sir, you said mentally. This question is not possible mentally. Yes, I do agree. All questions cannot be attempted me mentally also. For that also, you need to understand some initial things. Okay. Now, so how to start initially in mentally? So there are examples. Let it be your multiplication with two, multiplication with eleven, multiplication with ninety-nine, nine nine nine, or one thousand nine nine nine. Anything that you can do it. The main focus is visual ability. So that you can start visualizing the numbers. So with Vedic maths, this increases. Thereafter, you start with reasoning. You need to find the reason why it is happening. And third, your logics are applied. Right. So this is what is the major focus. And that works very well with the students because they are always having that fear factor. And we need to remove that fear factor. And that is always reduced when they are able to do the calculations mentally. So whenever you have to start, first take the concept of tables with them. Because that is the biggest burden in every child's life. Yes, Bhaktaraj, I think you are running a school. Bhaktaraj? Are you running a school in Nepal? Yes. Yes. Okay. So how do you find? What are the students evaluate? How do you evaluate? Are they good in maths or they are poor in maths? Or they have fear of mathematics? They are average. They are average. Now, why why they so average means they, they are lacking somewhere in maths because you're already providing them with the best teachers. Right? Yes. Apart yes. from them. 
Apart from that, they are also going for evening tuitions. See, math yes. is a subject. Now, math teachers are given always a regard. They are pay, highly paid also. They are given a special status also. And out of 40 students, I am just giving you an estimate, a just sample. There, if there are 40 students in a class, 30 are going for off after school tuitions. And again, if 10 are failing, that means 25% of the students are still lacking somewhere. So where is the fault? Are we not able to train them? What is wrong that we are not able to do it? <clears throat> so what do you, what do you think? You are uh, heading as a principal over there or a teacher? Yes, yes Bhakta. Are you heading as a principal or a teacher? As a principal. Okay, so how, how do you define it? How do you find? Where is the lacking? You are already giving the best teachers, best atmosphere, best everything. So where is the lacking? There, there is something lacking only, na? Okay. Uh, they are not focusing on the course. See, uh, focusing cannot be. Now we, uh, I'll, I'll give you one example. Okay. Why only in math you we can we are saying they are not focusing? Why not in other subjects? And how is it possible they are not focusing in maths only? Because you have given them the best teachers. You have given them the best atmosphere. They are also getting after school classes, maybe tuitions they are privately taking. Still they are lacking. So there might be some reason behind it. Yes, Prakash Raj, you are also running a school in Chitwan. So how do you find? where Where is the actual reason behind it? Yes, sir. Uh, when we get, uh, have this type of ideas, then surely students will be motivated, sir. And they will surely take interest. Sir, that's, that, that is very good. And that is the reason you might be knowing Government of India has made it compulsion. As per national education policy, we are supposed to teach every student from class third to class ninth minimum these topics. And let's no, this is something compulsion. Let's not talk out about compulsion. Still, before that, in every entrance examination, you need to manage the time. You need to have race against time. For that, you need something which can make your calculation faster. So Vedic math is a proved tool since long. And like Chad, you belong to Chitwan. What's your school name? So mine? Mm -hmm. Mine is Sri Madhapur Secondary School, sir. Okay, Madhapur Secondary School. I was there uh, in, I, I gave one session in Yosanik Vidyale Chitwan and another in Ankuram Academy last year. Oh, Ankuram. Yes. Yes. Now, yes. Why, now, see, where we are lacking. If we say they are not able to concentrate, then also, that was a question I was asking to Bhaktaraj also. You have appointed the best, best mathematics teachers. Correct. And still they are lacking. Students have a fear of math. Why? So my question is simple. Why do students have fear of mathematics? Yes, please, Bhaktaraj. Sir, I am here to find out the reason. <laughs> Great. That is one thing. See, Vedic math is true. But see, I can give you everything. But the thing is, I need to hear from you also. What are your views? Maybe I'll learn something from you also. Na? You are also a part of a school. And every individual has his own views. All students are better in English subject, but... Great. Little Nepali and math. 
maths and nepali also okay nepali nobody yes. guided me now maths i'll give you one reason one major reason is okay a very simple question to you vantraj first before answering how many phone numbers do you remember uh, minimum 50 60 50 Five zero or Sir, I'm very bad at math. Like I used to be, uh, I used oh, to be I good. Oh, well, I was. Yes, Deepa. Rama Krishna, Rama Krishna. How many phone numbers do you remember now? Into two L, sir. Okay, good. Now, if you look back ten years back, when you were not having mobile phone, at that time, how many numbers do you used to remember? Yes, Bhagwan. Now you can, and Prakash. You got my again, point. Again. At that time, you used to remember more than this. Why? Because at that time there was nothing to be stored. Now you have programmed your brains. Yes, I have a mobile phone. I can store everything in that. See, this is how you are giving signals to your brain. You don't try to remember. Actual point is we don't try to remember. now same is happening the students because i had more than 70 sessions in your country now right from a junior school class 3 to msc in tribhuvan university what i felt we have become dependent on calculators for calculation yes sir because you yes people, sir correct you have Yes, sir. Same thing. Uh, can I share my experience, sir? Uh, one second more. Same thing happened to me, sir. Uh, actually, I was I used to be very good at maths while so uh, till ten class. But after that, I'm like I I have to use calculator for every equation and every uh, multiplication addition. <laughs> But when I was a child, I used to score a uh, full score in mathematics. Now that means. your memory has gone down because you are not using your brain correct same thing yes sir we, we, we now we, we remember less phone numbers because we have stopped using our brains students they are finding math difficult if you ask some big question to your students you know what answer i used to get in the sessions sir we'll do on calculators they don't even want to try for this why because they know they'll be getting calculators in the examination hall so that dependency has led to this fear more i don't deny this fact ki this is just because of this because the fear of maths is in every country but this reason has enhanced it more dependency correct so now how it can be resolved you said ki you tell me how it can be resolved yes i'll share a videos with you the sessions which i have already taken in so many schools and observe when a student is walking inside a hall he knows simple multiplication that to if bigger question is given they are dependent on calculator so first promise i take is you will not use calculators after this second tables they know up till 12 only if you ask them even 13 they they don't have the confidence see you you can be wrong sometime that is not a big thing even when when a child starts walking he fails number of times so do we stop him from walking no same is the case you might be wrong sometimes so what 
at least try. Now this, that confidence has been given out. There is nothing like that. Now in Vedic math, you, you have three things. First is, it is a journey of transformation from fear of mathematics to confidence in maths. You'll say, why, sir, focusing only on mathematics? Because we cannot, be, we cannot live without mathematics. Entire day goes on mathematics. Right from the morning when the alarm clock starts till the late night, we are surrounded by numbers all the time. Money is in numbers. Counting is in numbers. Everything has in numbers. The biggest thing is you cannot survive without money transaction. And money transaction, I'm very sorry to say, but a sixth class student, class six, if you give him 100 rupees note and ask him to purchase bananas of rupees 16 or 33, some odd number, he'll not be able to find what change he'll be getting in return. So what is the use of that education? And in Vedic math, this is a very simple principle, all from nine, last from 10 and finish. And this is what money transaction is, what is the need of our art. It is to be taught to every individual, every student, every employee of your home, every maid, every servant, every driver. Why? Because if you are sending them for to purchase something and they are doing it wrong, who is to suffer? You only. This two minutes topic can save a lot of your money. Correct. Second thing, what you get with Vedic mathematics, the confidence we have lost. So you attain a feeling, yes, I can. So once you have that feeling, yes, I can, is anything difficult in your life? Yeah. If you today think, Prakash, if you today think, yes, I, I can do this, who can stop you? Tell me. Nobody, sir. That's all. So do our students have that faith? Do they have that confidence in them? So that they achieve with the subject. Why? Because after so many years, when they are able to do such calculations in a simple manner, within seconds, without the help of calculator, their confidence boosts up. Yes, it starts with mathematics, but in actual, Vedic maths is life-changing process. If it would have not been such, why a country like India would have implemented the subject in national education policy? Why so many European Western countries like US, UK, uh, your Australia, New Zealand, German, why they are implementing this in the schools, colleges and universities? Just because the subject is far, far beyond mathematics. It is life-changing process. And the third thing you get that's more important. The ability to think. We all want that. Our, why do we conduct debates in our schools? Why do we conduct this, uh, competitions like debates? Just that they can think critically. They can talk critically. And that ability also you get. How? Because there is not one single approach to solve particular problem. There are several ways. If you just observe my books, there are two general techniques to solve uh, multiplication questions and seven different special techniques. Now, what is special or specific technique? They are, you remember the number. Some technique is with 11, some is with the series of nine, some is with the 101 or everything. We remember and we do it. Now, here one question more arises. I have seen, I have, Face this question in so many schools. But I'll, I was very much happy this time I visited Galgot, your Balgot, Baglung area, where you don't have accessible roads. The school infrastructure was so not very good, I would say. But the students, they were so happy. See the videos. When you'll see, the, observe the videos, the same student, when turning out of the class after the session of two and a half hours, now, can you imagine a student sitting and learning maths for two and a half to three hours? No. 
and the students said them themselves ki we cannot sit in 40 minutes class and today I, we have been here because you the magic of the subject the interesting the easiness because one, you only like those things see everybody everybody wants a comfortable zone nobody wants a tough thing so when you find your work easy you try to do it more and more this is the philosophy of anything and since the subject is making mathematics easy you, they try to do it more and more and that increases the concentration also because for concentration no medicine is required in actual interest is required and as generally see uh, heard teachers say they lack in concentration or parents yes if you talk to the parents at the time of PTM, their first complaint is, my child is not able to concentrate. He's working hard. He's doing this hardly, but he's not able to concentrate. Now the question arises, how can we think that his concentration levels are not good? He cannot understand. We cannot think this way because the same child remembers 20 movies frame by frame three hour movie 20 such movies frame by frame if you ask any student he'll tell you the same student remembers 40 lyrics of 40 songs word to word so how he cannot remember your 40 minutes class now there are two options one is the teacher is not good and the second is the subject is really tough. And what I believe is both the things are wrong. Teacher is also uh, taking efforts. And the subject is also not that tough. The only thing is we are not having the right approach. We are lacking in the technique. Now what happens? If a student is not getting not able to understand one thing do we explain him in the other way no because we don't have the option we try to explain again and again yes teachers do the same they try to explain again and again but when he's stuck on that are we are we trying to give him some other method that is where we are lacking vedic math has helped that in a very good way ability to think so when you have so many options to think you are always able to deliver the best right and the research the research show that yes there are significant results in those students who are learning mathematics with the help of this particular subject because it is for the reason become ease of doing right any other questions yes Bhaktaraj, now you have any questions i think i have cleared that doubt yes deepa deepa you should so what is the question over there how do students find uh, mathematics in dubai <coughs> Okay, I got the reason uh, that we are not using our mind because of the latest technology. Yes. Yes, we are becoming more and more dependent. Yes. And I give you a simple reason, sir. That why do we not remember so many phone numbers? Because we are not using our brain to remember. Same as the students. Yes. Correct. Basic reason. Yes, there are certain more reasons. See, now education needs to become to be more interactive. If you remember now, why we are from past three, four years, five years, why we are focusing on activity-based program? Visual. Because with visual ability, activities you remember more. Correct? Yes. So that is also one way. But ultimately, you have to do it with your brain only. So the more you will be using your brains, you will be able to get the better results. 
Yes, Deepa. So, how students in Dubai yes, face sir. this? What difficulties they face? Oh. Or is it the same? Same only, sir. <laughs> so, wherever the education is same. So, nowadays, uh, uh, even they're uh, cutting the portions because uh, parents are complaining heavy. They are giving so many homeworks. They can't do like that. So, many are uh, complaining. Many parents are complaining. So now the uh, even the portions are less. So interest is less. Anyway, already we are they are scared on maths. Yes, they are scared uh, of so, maths. Now, yes. you know why they are scared in maths? One, one more, more reason is every subject teacher, every subject teacher, they always teach, yes. learn the concept, understand, uh, understand the concept, yes. learn the concept yes. and remember. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, Prakash, right? yes, sir. Every, yes, every teacher suggests it. But when math class comes and we start with the tables. Now, yes. you cannot understand all the tables. You cannot learn all the tables. So they say, cram the tables. And this is where actually the word cram starts with. Or the students start cramming. And till the age, till one particular age, they are not able to understand whether cramming is good or learning and understanding is good. They are not able to differentiate even. Correct. So there they find it difficult. So when you are trying to just cram, how will you remember anything? And the same child I told you, he can understand, he can remember the movies, lyrics. So that means he's not Everything is fine with that student. Only we need to adopt a different technique to make him understand our concepts. Our uh, means our school mathematics. That is all. They are sharp. But no doubt upon that. Yes, Anisha? Yes, sir. Any question left? Uh, no, sir. Ramakrishna, see, you are sitting in the university. You should you you should have questions. Hmm? Yes, Ramakrishna. Yes, Prakash, I'm just smiling. Something yes, so, so coming I'm... in your I'm thinking that uh, uh, can we use this uh, Vedic mathematics effectively for a sir, junior student, sir, for, from class one? Class one and two, only one topic, only one. Which what? one, sir? I'll tell you now. I'll, I'll give you here itself. Uh, actually, we started class third. Class third means they should know basic addition and some concept of multiplication table. That's all. Now class one. Now class one, we have only addition. Yeah. Two digit addition, class two also addition. Now it's not so tedious, nothing at all. Still, do every student score good? No. Even in that they fail even in that, they lack. What is again lacking? Confidence. So how to generate that confidence now? There is no medicine again. So confidence comes if you give them some technique by which they can verify their answers. You got my point? Yes, sir. See, if a student is doing some questions on addition, he'll, after doing the work, he'll definitely pick up the this, uh, your uh, calculator and again check whether I'm right or wrong. Correct? But this is a natural habit they have. Now, in exams, this cannot be done. So that means 
Now, if we give them some technique to verify their answers, they get confident. This is same like, you know, when a child is going for an exam, we always say, attempt those questions first, which you know by heart and which you are unlikely, like you are not confident enough, attempt those at the last. Now, what is the reason behind that? The concept and the reason behind that is we don't want them to get demotivated. Very important thing. See, what happens if we get demotivated? Demotivated means if you are sometimes upset. Maybe any reason, any X, Y, Z, I'm not focusing on reason. What do you do? You don't work properly. You don't eat properly. You don't do anything properly. And how think if it is due to some fear, you're not able to solve a question. And again, time pressure is there. So that time, every student gets demotivated. So that is the reason we say first attempt at least those questions who, which you know by heart and which you are clear. Now, at the same time, if a student is told how to verify the answers. Now, a student attempts one question and checks. Yes, I'm right or wrong. And he found that it is correct. How much his bon uh, morale would be boosted? He'll be positive. Yes, I have done it correct. Yes, I have done it. This is the way of approach. See the students when they are playing games, they say, yes, I, we have did it. When then they do a goal or when they score good in this your video games. Yes, I have done it. Did they ever say this thing in education? Yes, I have done everything correct because even after attempting the paper, they are doubtful whether it was correct or not. Got the difference between game and the education. So in a game, they are always satisfied because the result is in front of them. But in education, the result is never in front of you. It will be coming after a month and they are always in a doubt. So now if we give them a technique, to verify their answers, they'll get confident. And that technique is as simple as ABC. It takes hardly three seconds. That is known as digit sum. I'll, I'll write down. So I don't have uh, more time to explain right now. I'll explain. I have explained in the last uh, one session. Today, I'll just give you now. So that is like, it is called as digit sum. Now the name itself clears it. Sum, digit sum means sum of the digits. So whatever the digit is, like we did this question, 387548. Now see, 387548. And the product we found was 212076. 212076. No student attempts it properly, but still they have a doubt that whether it is correct or not. Now, how to check using digit sum? We add all these digits. 3 plus, uh, sorry, 8 plus 7, 15 and 3, 18. 18, again, you have to reduce 1 plus 8. So digit sum is 9. Right, you add all these 3 plus 7 plus 8. So 11 plus 7, 18. That is 1 plus 8 is again 9. Similarly, 5 plus 4 is 9 and 8 means 17. That is again 8. When Now, since this is multiplication, so 9 into 8 is 72. That means again 9. So digit sum of the quotient part is 9. Now, that means here also it should be 9. So yes, 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 13 is 18. This is again 9. So if digit sum is same, that means you have attempted right. Now, if you would have made any mistake, any silly mistake, like here, instead of 0, you would have written 1. Here, answer would be different. It would have been 19. That means 10. That means 1. So that would have given you an alert. Check your answer. Now, 
you remember we we give rough sheets in maths exams a teacher always say please check your answers now if you have made a silly mistake also do we are we able to check our own mistakes no with the same technique you are overlooking every time the same mistake because what is the mistake it is generally of the multiple carryovers but with the new concept with digit sum you can just check it and find it within seconds not more than 30 seconds this entire process takes and you become more confident and confidence is only the key to success if you are confidently attempting the question you will be able to attempt every part if you get demotivated once with one question only you are not able to proceed further and this is this is the reason why we always say that and again one more thing there in class 6 after class 6 or in class 6 we start with olympiads or we start with enter scholarship exams now in that we generally have mcqs multiple choice questions now in multiple choice questions examiner has given you a question and then he has given you four options why do you think he has given you four options is examiner looking for you to solve the question yes bhaktraj prakash is examiner interested in getting the question solved if if examiner would have asked you to solve the question then why they are giving you four answers are you understanding my point mm, yes sir they are making confusion creating confusion no oh, yeah. in actual they are not so they are not see if you will solve the same question that three into three multiplication it will take minimum 2 to 3 minutes for any child but if you do it with this you are with digit sum you'll get the best option without solving that means multiple choice questions can be solved with digit sum only more than 70% of the questions can be solved with digit sum examiner is not expecting you to solve examiner is expecting you to give the right choice without solving this is what is expected because in any scholarship in any entrance exam there are generally on an average if it is 2 hours paper 100 questions are there if it is a 3 hour question 180 so 150 questions are there do you think one minute is sufficient for a student to solve a question no it is not to solve it is just to look for the best choice and that will come through digit sum so it works on everything addition subtraction multiplication division Square, square roots, cube, cube roots, anything. Wherever mathematical calculations are there, digit sum can work. So it is the best tool to check your answers, to verify your answers, and that once you know that I am correct, that will give you confidence. And remember, whenever you do something good, whenever you do achieve something, you are always positive from inside. You are happy also. that time happens or not this works entirely on child psychology is it clear am i clear yes prakash rajesh deepak ram krishna no questions from your side so thank you very much any questions you have because it's already 10:05 yes bhaktraj any questions anisha no question sir thank you no very question, much sir. no not from okay. my side so you have my number if not i'm just sharing my number on the uh, in the chat box 
anything you can directly send me on whatsapp i'll and i'll be there to solve your query right i have shared thank my you. number thank you very much thank you sir thank you bye bye good night bye bye good night sir good night